Okay, I have this track. It's almost finished, but it needs a bit of corrective EQ and DSing on the vocal. The vocal at the minute is a little bit harsh sounding. Um, possibly on the guitar solo as well, just to dial out a couple of harsh frequencies. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, using sort of a surgical EQ and I'm also going to put some black box on the master bus just to fatten it up a little bit and bring give it a bit of low end and a bit of uh, tube saturation. I'll start off with the um, black box disabled FGX because it's like a master and limiter but it's also very uh, harsh on the CPU so while recording it's probably not a great idea to um, have it on um, there might be some clicks and pops in this recording but that is because of just limitations in streaming this io audio into the video capture okay uh distortion black box analog design hg2 hg2 it's hard to say black box i'll just call it okay so what i'm going to do is put the bias to low frequencies so it's only affecting the low frequencies i'll bring the mix back to about 60% um, that's sort of like a parallel compression knob um, I'll put a little bit of saturation on it dial that back a little bit and dial in the pantode quite a lot usually it breaks up sort of around that point and I'll bring in some of this too and add a little air little air and put that back and let's see how that sounds <laughs> difference there in the, um, the overall sound of the mix it just it brought everything forwards um, <laughs> there as well right what I'm going to do now is I'll load up um, frequency which is a new EQ that comes with um, Cubase 9 it allows you to solo frequencies using this button here and then when you adjust the frequency um, you only hear the frequency that you're adjusting now what I'm going to do, uh, it's easier if I just show you, but basically I'm going to bring in a really tight cue by bringing that right up. Um, so I'll show you, just bring those right up. And then I'll bring them up, scan the frequency, and I'll when I find um, like a harsh sounding resonance or a sort of a whistly kind of sound then I'll dial that back once I've found that so I'll show you how to do that um, first though I'm going to put the EOSIS DSer onto it 
and I'll put that on preset of mastering lead vocal de-essing 100% smooth and bring it back to about 34% bring the wet dry back to about 75% and the amount back or sensitivity back sorry a little bit um, you should see quite a bit of reduction going on in, in this area <laughs> wasn't catching the vocal at all there so I wonder wonder why anything there this is the thing that really um, find quite confusing about that EOSIS DSR it seems to work really well sometimes but sometimes it won't it won't catch the S's at all so I'll try and do it with the frequency instead You can hear that harsh frequency there, and I duck it out. And when we blow through the Won't you please listen? Slight there. Bring it down a couple of days. Gotta find the pot. There, you could hear it was really harsh sounding. Maybe bring that one down by four decibels. It'll all come crashing down. Oh. Listen, or hear it damn time. Gotta find the power. I'm missing a baby here this heart of mine. She said, I'm riding a fever. She said, let's ride around town. And when we go to the scene, it'll all come. Oh, my lover, won't you please? Please, let's 
person or hear it all the damn time. Gotta find the parts that I'm missing. Oh baby, hear this heart of mine. She said I'm riding a fever. She said let's ride around town. And when we blow through the solo I'll um, I'll put frequency on there move those cues up to they're the tightest that they can be and then do the same thing boost it as high as it can scan through the frequencies find the offensive frequencies and then pull them out
that seems to have made a difference.